Hey everybody, welcome to the final video for the Cluck and Bell Raid, uh, Scene of the Crime. Um, we'll be doing this uh, solo and on the silent and sneaky. Okay. So, uh, basically, uh, with the last setup, uh, you can, uh, choose whether you're going in guns blazing or silent. Uh, so we chose the silent route because it's the easiest way. So once we get over here to the starting point, we'll get this started. All right, here we are for the finale scene of the crime. All right, so once you come out of the crate, you want to make sure you're using your uh, silent weapon. Yep, here we are. Combat pistol suppressed. Alright, so I know I kept uh, auto-aiming on the guys that were all the way down here at the end, but you want to make sure not to shoot them right away. Because if you don't get that headshot, then uh, the alarm will go off, and it's such a great distance that the odds of missing are pretty high. Okay, so once we take everybody out, we're also uh, looking for a set of keys. And uh, here we go, let that guy walk around. Hold on one second. Forgot to turn on my do not disturb. All right, so keys uh, are only in two spots. First spot I checked was the table over in the last area I was at. Okay, and then um, if you look at your uh, mini map, you see there's two guards. The one behind can see the guard in front here. So wait for him to walk away before you step up and shoot this guy. Okay, so now that the warehouse is cleared out and we got it done with no alarm, that means we can uh, go back to these two rooms back here and steal the contraband uh, without any fuss. So there's going to be three guys in this door here um, down in the basement, but only one of them is going to be armed. The other two guys are like scientists or whatever, but they still can set the alarm off, so make sure you take out all three with the silent weapon. Uh, 
Alright, I'm going to grab all the contraband. Uh, four stacks total in this room. So once you got all four stacks, now we can head up the stairs to the next area. Alright, two guys inside here, both of them armed. Contraband is going to be in the two crates that are furthest from the door, one on each side of the warehouse. And if you don't have a crowbar, there's always one laying around. There's one there, and there's one back over here on another set of on another crate. See back here in the corner. Alright, so when you get to the office, make sure you use those keys you found. Because if you uh, shoot the lock or uh, shoot the window, it'll automatically set the alarm off. Okay, here we go. Connect to the computer. It's safe to assume you did read the manual for the hacking device you picked up, correct? Well, I did, and it's simple. Just find the strongest signal. All right, 25, 28, 67. We got 25. Sorry, I'm writing it down so I don't, just in case, 28 and 67. Okay. All right. Don't panic. Keep using your silent weapon. They still don't know where you're at.
Okay, still good to go. Still on the silent and sneaky Seattle. Everybody has a cone of vision still, which means that we haven't uh, set the alarm off yet. Alright, fastest route out of here is going to be along these railroad tracks. So basically just follow these all the way. And uh, just do watch out for trains. Um, I Usually they're not here, but I have seen them once or twice during this final, their finale. So, uh, if you do happen to come across one, it'll be coming right at you, and you'll be able to get out of the way pretty quick. And if you're uh, in the tunnel here, um, park yourself right up against the wall. And I do say park, because if you're moving and you bounce off the wall, uh, you'll bounce right into the train, and it'll blow you up. And uh, You won't like where it spawns you. You'll have to find another vehicle and come back into the tunnel where you died and pick up the contraband and then that's if it doesn't land on the train and the, car the train carries it so okay so once we get up to the uh large ridge which is the next one we're going to come across we should start to lose them shit and of course we get the helicopter oh and the helicopter didn't see us we got lucky okay so anyway, cutting it across country right here is your best bet. See, and now we lost the cops. So this is the fastest, easiest way to uh, get to the lockup from the um, Polito Bay. Follow those railroad tracks all the way to Harmony, cut across the country to uh, avoid any last minute cops, and then uh, head up this little dirt road. Well, dirt path, whatever. And right here, you want to veer to your left. Follow this little valley almost all the way up. And there you have it. We are home free. No cops. And relatively fast. And that's with using one of the slower vehicles that are in this heist or raid.
All right, and that concludes the raid. There you have an extra 500 grand. Even if you do it with other players, you still get the same amount, and the other players will get their their cut as well, which is I think 50 grand. So that pretty much concludes our video, and that's the last of the Cluck and Bell uh, raid. So hopefully I helped you guys out, and if so, definitely hit that like button, and if you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.